Yeah. A little self-referential, I admit. You were telling me you liked it because it's a G.I. Joe and your show comes Oh yeah, the deco of it is like a, a 1982 G.I. Joe blister car, which I was a big fan of. So. Seeing our character in that in that way is really fun. Did you start online? Is, is that far away? Yeah, we actually began it. Uh, Sony was developing, you know, it was a precursor to, to YouTube. It was yeah. designed as portal television, so they, they wanted to have a bunch of creators. They gave them a little bit of seed money to finance projects. That really? Yeah, they, they were on a display site, but no one had broadband, so it was all dial up. We were trying oh to get like God. even low res media on, yeah. on a broadband, on a, uh, uh, Nobody saw it, uh, but what we got out of it was um, they, they essentially produced 45 minutes of content. Um, yeah, that's why Sony Digital always has a, a card at the end of the show. Oh, because they really, I mean, they helped us make it in the first place. They were definitely. Uh, what was that early one with Tony? Was that on? Yeah. Yeah, that was one of our episodes. We did like, uh, I want to say we did 12. We did a total of 12. That was the very first one. Um, I think it was called Conan's Big Fun. I um, mean, because it was early days of the internet, you know, there were so many things in there that you couldn't argue defensible parody on these days. Like, we could never put that stuff on the show. But the one thing that we had dead to rights was that, uh, you know, Brittany was not entirely stable. They could probably use some external decision making.
you guys should get stuff like that. And you, so you must be excited because the hundredth episode is airing this yes, Sunday. Yes, this Sunday. Yeah, yeah. I'm very excited about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just the chicken gets loose, and uh, it's probably the greatest action shot we've ever done. I saw, I saw the episode. Oh, did you? The <laughs> why did, why, how did that happen, by the way? The DVD came out before the show. You no, know, we just thought we'd put it out there for the hardcore fans, you wow. know, and, and just see if they would go out and buy and get, have the opportunity to see something before it aired on television. Um, because especially with the DVD market being like that's the best of these days, it gives people the chance, and then at the same time, people get to watch it on air. Uh, so, you know, we just we just like to get back to the fans as much as they can give up. So, what about LA? Since you're based here, do you, yep. what do you frequent or do you, like, what is oh my your gosh. favorite? Uh, uh, I pretty much frequent every comic book store that's around. That's pretty much it. I sneak in and sneak out and look at all the stuff. Um, but otherwise, uh, I don't really do much. I work, I, I work a lot. I'm at the office a lot. Yeah. What that entails, really? Like, I, I don't understand. Like, what's the process? Like, you come in, like, oh you, do, like you must do a lot of voice work. It, it, I, I, don't, I do some voice work, unfortunately, because I'm terrible at it. Yeah. Um, but it's everything from, like, reviewing storyboards to working on animatics to editing the shows and looking over the actual animation and talking to animators, uh, yeah. sitting in the writers' meetings and everything. I mean, yeah, across the board. But, uh, yeah. Is, is that the only thing you're working on currently, or is there something uh, There are other things that I'm unfortunately not able That's to say. Right. Yeah. So. Can I ask about uh, Titan Maximum? Yes. Yeah. And, and uh, I love it. Uh, yeah. Hope to get back to it. It's just a matter of time. Uh, really? Yeah. I've always found it interesting that adults could just be like, okay, it's been off the air, and then... Now it's never been officially canceled. canceled. Yeah, yeah it's know. one of those things where we're, we're so busy with Robot Chicken that's just finding the time to be able to do it. And because we're so hands-on, you can't really let go and let someone else do it. And what are some of your other favorite adult swim shows? Or did you have any other? I love everything. I mean, I love Venture Brothers. Uh, I, I love, you know, Aqua Teen. I, I'm excited for Black Dynamite. Uh, I can't wait for yeah, that too, there, yeah. there, there's, there's so much out there that I just can't wait for. Um, sorry, I think yeah. someone's calling me to get me in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, um, we'll let you go then. Oh, no, 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 no problem. Oh. Uh, I'm just going to go rip okay. something into the office. We'll talk to you later. Buddy. Yeah, thank, <laughs> thank you, you very, very much. much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, hi, my name is Scott Listfield. Uh, I'm one of the artists here in the Adult Swim Show at Gallery 1988. And it started at all because I first saw this. Yep. And were you completely inspired by the Boston scare or what? Uh, I'm actually from Boston. Oh. Uh, so I'm actually, I, I, I live. I flew out here just for the show, uh, but I live, some of these were posted literally just a few blocks from where I live, so uh, for me that was sort of a pivotal event where like pop culture meant like politics and chaos, and it was like, it was like cartoons meet 9-11, it was like a really weird mix for me where like lots of things I'm interested in sort of crashed together. I was just reading about it, one of the people online who might have seen it and were just saying no, no, I sort of heard about it like just sort of after it all happened. I kind of wish, I, I really, it's one of those things that like so much chaos could have been averted if anybody under 30 had been, in, you know, contacted for like five seconds. So it's also really that they overdid it. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I mean, it, I feel personally embarrassed that that was my city that this happened. Like literally, Thank you. talk to somebody who's watched the cartoon. Oh, god. I love the Retro Brothers. Uh, the astronaut is a recurring theme in all of my work. Oh. Uh, so I've been painting, I've been making paintings with an astronaut in them for about 12 years now. Oh, was there one that you started working with? Yep. Uh, yep. Okay. Yep. 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 The fall of Saddam Hussein. Yep. The fall of Saddam Hussein. And yeah, they tore down his uh, sculpture in Baghdad. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is straight up. I wanted, I wanted to do an homage to my own, my, the stupidity of my hometown, you know. And, uh, I love the Venture Brothers. Yeah. I mean, the Venture Brothers for me is uh, really like. I mean, uh, it's an inspiration, but also they deal with a lot of the same kind of ideas that I deal with in my work. So I just I had to do something with the Venture Brothers. Oh my 